Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. We have today the biggest, the baddest, the meanest, the G-Wagon. This right here is the 2020 G63 AMG. And in this video, I will show you guys the interior features of this G-Wagon. Take a look at the exterior and listen to the sound from the engine. This G-Wagon punches above the MSRP, right now selling above $200,000. Now, this G-Wagon is finished in a gorgeous G-Manufacture Monza Grey Magno. Lovely color. It has the Edition 1 stripes on the lower part of the car. Taking a look at this G-Manufacture Monza Grey Magno exterior color. It's a very gorgeous color. Again, it's G-Manufacture. They have a whole range of colors. There's G-Manufacture Jupiter Red and the like. You can notice the iconic G-Wagon presence. You have this black guard on the front of the car with a mesh. Tons of black accents at the front. Magnificent circular headlamps. And you have that massive Mercedes logo right here in the middle, which has your active distance distronic systems for your driver packages, which works very well with your radar technology at the front. Now tell me what you think about these Edition 1 stripes on the lower part of this G-Wagon. You have some on the hood of the car. And I just love how these Edition 1 stripes look on this magnificent G-Wagon. Now take a look at your indicators on a G-Wagon. These are up here. And then you have this orange reflector right here with the obsidian black elements running along the side of this car. It, also with the G-Wagon, you have these larger wheel fenders. And these look magnificent on this car. Black AMG rims with the red brake calipers. These are massive, massive brakes, at least six piston brakes. Take a look at the chrome tailpipes on the G-Wagon. And then all the black elements with this color looks absolutely magnificent. The windows are naturally tinted. From this other perspective, dual chrome tailpipes, red brake calipers. Now let's take a look at the size on these tires. These are 285, 45, R21. These are 21 inch rims on the G-Wagon. The rear brakes are perforated. Red brake calipers. Let's take a look at the front tire. Same dimensions, even larger. Red brake calipers. Has the Scorpion Zero tires, Pirelli tires. For a car which weighs 7,000 pounds, you need the maximum stopping power. That's why you have these large, large brakes on this G-Wagon. So standing back, just really appreciate the, the design from here. You have an AMG branding right over here on the side. Let's you know that it's a G-Wagon. Black side mirror housings. Going to the other side, I wanna show you guys you also have the same AMG branding right here. And in terms of the dimensions of this G-Wagon, it's about 191 inches in length and about 77.4 inches in height. You will therefore need a fairly decent sized garage to fit this G-Wagon. On the rear, you have the spare wheel, tucked inside this wheel casing, finished in high gloss black element with the G manufacture exterior color on this part of it. Really appreciate the Mercedes emblem right here. And then you have the G63 inscription in black. On this other side, you have the AMG inscription right here. LED taillights, 
on this other side as well and this g-wagon has the class 2 trailer hitch and you have a tow mechanism tucked underneath the bumper right here let's take a look at the, the trunk on this g-wagon this is very good quality leather premium leather and then you have this bar to close the trunk standing back so you can really appreciate the design and the features of the rear of this g-wagon it's a pretty decent sized trunk you do have this cargo cover that pulls out in that fashion you don't want to have your groceries baking in the sun especially in the summer I'm gonna roll that back and then you have a speaker system right here you have some storage netting over here some light accessories you have a 115 volt power outlet right here And that's the trunk. Love this chrome element to protect this part of the trunk. And let's just close that up. Love the sound of the G-Wagon. I know most of you will say, you know, the sound of the doors, like they're banging, but that's how these doors sound when you close them. The other cool feature on this G63, you have that gap in the body of the car so what that is think of this as the airflow mechanism what happens because the cabin is so airtight once the air purification system runs inside the car the used up air exits from right through the fins and if the ac is running and you literally put your hand over here you will feel the airflow coming from inside the car so you have one here and then you have the other mechanism right here so if you're ever wondering those gaps facilitate the air purification system inside the g-wagon let's go to the other side now this is the favorite part of any car review is the engine let's go right ahead and listen to the sound on this magnificent g63 and leave some comments give the video a big thumbs up let me know what you think about the sound coming from this g-wagon let's listen in This is it, the magnificent V8 by Turbo producing 577 horses and 627 pound-feet of torque, hand-built by AMG. So it looks like Robin did a phenomenal job, fantastic job on this engine. Love the carbon fiber cover right here in the center. Love these G-Wagon doors. Take a look at this mechanism. Of the door and believe it or not love these hinges on the g-wagon you can also see the ones in the back here if I open that come out through here take a look at the mechanism there's one down here as well As is usual, we start from the front. This entire door is leather wrapped. Very exclusive leather, black leather with the red contrast stitching. You have carbon fiber accents on the door panel here. 
Burmester speaker system, memory seating on the car, you have heated, cooled, ventilated seats on this G-Wagon. This button right here offers you thigh support. So for those tall individuals, you do have thigh support courtesy of this button right here. Absolutely quality material. You have your window controls up here, your side mirror folding buttons are up here. Another cool feature on the G-Wagon is you have this logo right here from Mercedes-Benz, shock proofed. Let's jump inside of the G-Wagon and take a look at the interior. I'll go right through the back and show you guys the front. You have the AMG Performance steering wheel which is flat bottom and this is the carbon fiber as well as Alcantara steering wheel. Very exclusive, feels very good to the touch. Alcantara on the side gives you maximum grip. You also have paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. You have the downshift, your upshift is right here. All your functions for your media center and your instrument clusters are right in front of you. One thing I love about Mercedes is the user experience is really, really good. Everything is within reach. If you want to control your airflow, is right through here. You don't have to struggle too much inside this car. Definitely recommend this G-Wagon if you have 200,000 to spend. Um, at the top here, you also have carbon fiber atop the steering wheel and the Alcantara is on the side. Love the circular air vents, turbine air vents on this car. You have two turbine air vents in the center. You have one on either side. Love the handlebar. It says G Manufacture right here. Very exclusive. You have speaker systems at the top of the dash on either side. This car has excellent audio, the G manufacturing inscription, red contrast stitching. Your climate control systems are down here and all your buttons. And then you have the iconic Mercedes clock at the center, navigation radio media buttons also down here as well as telephone. Your active differential buttons and functions are right at the center. The other cool feature is you have ambient lighting in the cabin throughout the car. And you can really see that down here as well as your sport pedals down there as well. Center console finished in gorgeous carbon fiber. And this is the key for this G-Wagon. Now down here you have uh, this compartment which allows you to store extra items next to the center console. Have extra storage right here, finished in exclusive leather. You can see the red contrast stitching, very good quality material on the center console, as well as this extra storage unit right here in the center. And here's the handlebar. As you're driving through terrain, gives you extra support if you hold on to that then love these aluminum pieces on the upper dash. You also have carbon fiber flowing through this upper dash right here, all the way to the other side. Aluminum as well. Take a look at the speaker system up here. This entire dash is also leather wrapped. And you have airflow vents atop here as well and then the other speaker on the other side you have carbon fiber elements on the center console next to your center console control buttons and functions ambient lighting which flows all the way underneath the cabin and down here as well upholders right here 
dynamic select functions and features are all at this part on the center console now let's take a look at the infotainment system on this g-wagon <sighs> I'm not going to start the car, but we'll just browse through some of the functions. You have navigation, radio, media, telephone, connect, and vehicle as well as system. Let's go into system. And in system, you have displays and designs. And you have a number of designs. Right now, it's set to classic let's change that to the sport look and that's the sport design and you have three designs and then you have uh, display brightness day night design which will be pretty cool at night let's go back you have input audio connectivity bluetooth devices and then the command touch the other function is you have your vehicle you have your seat controls your climate control dynamic select let's go into dynamic select you have individual configuration drive type transmission suspension exhaust system let's go into the Let's use the dynamic select button to change some of the options. So this is the Sport Plus. Then you have Sport, Comfort, Individual Mode, and Slippery Mode. Those are your different drive modes. And I think if you can go into each of these configurations, you can actually adjust some of these features gonna adjust your transmission from manual to dynamic and so on and so forth now if I start the car you can see we have uh, dynamic select uh, let's look at the engine data so that's your engine data going back you have uh, telephone media radio and navigation so let's take a look at the navigation on this g-wagon zooming out a thousand miles above the earth zooming back in can tell my location is Salt Lake City Utah and this map you have different options let's take a look at the options you have a map menu which allows you to change the map to either 2d or 3d so you have 3d map orientation on this g-wagon that's a bit of the interior look and the functions on the center display of this g-wagon good quality seats exclusive leather red contrast stitching amg branding on the backrest of the seat illumination amg on the door sills down here love this feature right here mercedes shock proved and you can see the ambient lighting flowing underneath very very good quality back seats you have uh, cup holders at the center of the armrest red 
leather red contour stitching on the black as well Love the design on these seats. You have climate control systems down here as well. Your fan controls are also here. You can add temperature and decrease temperature from back here. Storage behind each of these seats and on the other side. You can sit three adults very comfortably in the back. There is more than enough leg room. If you're six feet tall, you're gonna fit perfectly. And I believe these seats also roll back. Then you have your cup holders on the armrest here at the center. Black safety belts. And then you have uh, car seat hooks down here for those new parents. If you have a set of twins or can put two car seats back here reading lights at the top as well as a coat hanger hook over there and then you have a sunroof for those days you want to relax and enjoy the sun really appreciate the design on these seats i think these are very good quality seats good headrests love the red contrast stitching you have another air vent here in the center that you can control the airflow for your back and for the passengers in the back you have those mechanisms for your air control As I mentioned before, leather wrap doors, very good quality, carbon fiber elements on the door, Burmester speaker system. This car has heated back seats. See right here. You can have heated back seats. And the ambient lighting also comes through right here. And then, as I mentioned before, you have AMG door illumination on the door sills. And that's the back seating on this G-Wagon. Now, tell me, you guys, what you think about the seating arrangement and the ambience on the car. Very good quality seats. Now that's pretty much it. A quick review on the G63 2020 model. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I will also leave a link in the description for the number to call if you want to buy this G-Wagon in this exclusive G manufacture Monza Grey Magno exterior color with the 21 inch rims, black wheels and the red brake calipers sounds amazing every good quality on the inside the exterior explains why it's punching above the suv class see you on the next one guys